All right, let's uh, take a look at uh, commodities in general today. Start, I'm going to start with oil. I, I warned people that this was a, a possibility. We had a, an important resistance zone right here. This is the uh, uh, rebound out of the bubble collapse. This, this was the bubble back in you know, 2008. We had the, the big crash uh, into the recession. And then this was the rebound out. Um, so this was an important pivot. That, that was the point at which oil just started going sideways and then uh, had a, a couple more series of crashes uh, down into that final bear, bear market, uh, commodity bear market low. This was uh, a final um, commodity bear market low in the CRB, also for oil. And uh, as I've said many times before, the oil went briefly went negative right here. And that was the bell ringing that the uh, commodity bear market was over and the rubber band got stretched further to the downside than I have ever seen and maybe more than anything in history the thought of oil being negative fifty dollars is uh, insane and so uh, it's not unusual that you're gonna get a tremendous move back to the upside after pulling the rubber band that far to the downside that's what we've gotten here. <clears throat> but I, I warned people the other day that oil was, was too far above this long-term 200-week moving average. And there was risk that this uh, resistance zone was going to stop the rally for now. Um, it, may, it may be that this is uh, the three-year cycle top. Uh, we're about um, almost two years into this rally. So it would be a right translated cycle. But it may be that, uh, that, that this three-year cycle has topped and we're going to have to, um, I don't think it's going to be a plunge, but I, I do think there's a possibility that we could grind slightly lower, kind of what happened, similar to what happened in gold for uh, another year and then get our next three-year cycle low sometime in um, mid to late uh, 23. Do not think this is the end of the bull market by any means, but it, it may be the top of this three-year cycle. Um, and, and this is kind of what you would expect, a, a vertical move uh, as the war in, in Ukraine um, progressed and intensified. Uh, I suspect there's going to be a, um, at least a, a brief pause in the war cycle. But the war cycle is, is just getting started, just like this commodity bull market is just getting started. So, um, you know, a, as usual, people uh, don't listen to me at these major turning points. Uh, commodities have probably topped for this cycle. And, um, you know, everyone was uh, bearish on, on uh, regular stocks. Uh, it's always the same at every bottom. I was bullish. On, on the stock market, they, uh, the intermediate cycle had gone uh, far enough. Sentiment had become very um, despondent, very bearish. Um, and so what always happens is um, people become fixated on what's going up and they lose um, any ability to see uh, a potential correction ahead. So they end up getting caught there. And then in stocks, they, um, you know, it's been going down for several months. So they lose the ability to see any potential upside in the stock market. And so as it always happens, they, they get caught um, and they, they, they get caught at the top of one market and they miss the bottom of the other markets when those markets bottom. Um, and I'll, I'll say this again, that that I think um, the, the advanced decline line is not confirming this rally. Usually what you want to see is you want to see the advanced decline line uh, come up and make new highs and then the, the stock market uh, almost always follows. Um, stocks are rallying, but the advanced decline line has, has barely budged off of uh, the, the lows. Um, and so I, I think what is happening is, is what I, uh, warn people is going to happen. Big money is going to manufacture a rally. They will push the generals, Amazon, Apple, Google, 
uh, Netflix, Facebook, they'll, they'll push those kind of stocks, those big leading stocks, they'll push those up to new highs. That'll drag the market up with it. And then more than likely we'll get a breakout above this all time high and, uh, and smart money will sell their shares to the dumb money that will be buying. And it's the same dumb money that wouldn't listen to me down here. They'll finally start to listen to me uh, when we get up here and, and make new highs. And that's where they will want to buy. And uh, the smart money that was buying down here uh, will sell their shares uh, to that dumb money that's buying what they think is a breakout and that we're off to the races again. But I, I don't think that's the case. I think we've damaged the global economy. I don't think the war cycle is, is done by any means. Uh, it probably hasn't another decade to run yet. So this is, this is going to happen again. And maybe it's just, uh, you know, a temporary reprieve from the um, ceasefire talks that, that breaks down. And then, you know, we, we start the ball rolling again. Uh, and, uh, and that, that gives us an, you know, an, another leg up in the commodity markets, or we just start the deflation. Um, high inflation is what triggers deflation, not the other way around, as most people think. Uh, when, when inflation gets, um, goes up too far, too fast, uh, it collapses middle class and, and lower class spending. And, and that's what starts the uh, recession. And I've, I've gone over that many times before. And when it, oil rallies 100% or more in a short period of time, like 100% or less, it, it always causes a recession. And we've done that uh, easily. So I think this rally is the escape rally that's going to let big money get out um, at, at the top and then um, get on the sidelines. And it's the, the rally that's going to trap the dumb money buying at that top or at that breakout. All right, so I've been warning subscribers for a couple days that this was a potential spot that that would um, could probably tell us whether or not uh, this rally was uh, done. Uh, and when this um, bounce out of this um, daily cycle low failed to get back above that resistance zone at $115, that was a warning sign. Suggested that people might want to go ahead and take their profits on their XLE position. All right, here's the chart of XLE and, and back here in December of, uh, of 2020 is when I uh, suggested uh, people buy XLE and just hang on. And you can see that that trade has produced some really nice gains, but we've got a potential double top here. Um, let me widen the chart. All right, we've got a, a potential resistance zone that could stop this rally. Also parabolic move stretched way too far above the 200 day moving average. So this, this was a spot to go ahead and take profits on that um, immensely profitable uh, trade in, uh, in the energy sector. Um, now moving on to gold. All right, so uh, in one of my last videos, I warned that there was gonna be an attack uh, early this week. Uh, this was options, exp or options on futures expiration uh, yesterday, I believe. Maybe it's today, I'm not sure. But uh, there, there was, you know, we always knew there was going to be an attack uh, ahead of that. So we were expecting this. Uh, also, uh, when, when we got the attack Monday, like I was expecting, uh, I warned people that, that I thought that um, the cartel was probably going to come down and try and take out this pivot. Now, this is never going to happen naturally. Uh, gold is never going to go back below this pivot. This should be way too strong support uh, for the uh, gold to drop below that naturally. But as I, you know, we've been known for years and years, this is not a, a free market. This is heavily manipulated uh, by the banking cartel. So that's what makes it so hard to trade this, this sector. Um, but we knew an attack was coming here. And, uh, and when we got that first attack yesterday, I, I warned people that I, I thought they were, the cartel would probably try and run these, uh, this pivot right here, uh, lengthen this daily cycle. So let me, uh, let me put the, or move the 10 day moving average. All right. So here's the 10 day moving average. And this was the bounce out of, uh, you know, in a, in a free market, this would have been the bounce out of the daily cycle low. Uh, but with the options expiration on Monday, the market wasn't allowed to complete the rally. And, uh, 
And so they've, they've turned it back down and they've done so before the 10 day moving average could turn back up. And that's kind of one of the parameters that needs to be met uh, in order to confirm a daily cycle low. So um, while this was obviously the, the natural daily cycle low, uh, it's being artificially stretched and the, the cartel is going to run uh, stops below here and, and no, you know, good rally ever uh, starts until the uh, cartel manufactures some kind of event to knock uh, most everybody off of the trade before it can, uh, you know, get started. So, so uh, the odds were always pretty high. They were, they're going to take out this pivot, run everybody stops, uh, and then we will have a chance for uh, another leg up. Same, same thing happened here. Um, big money, you know, saw that gold and silver were ready to, to move big. And so they manufacture this big reversal candle that knocks everybody out of their positions. And then, you know, we take off to the upside. Same thing's going to happen here. They're not going to allow uh, any kind of significant rally to uh, start or to begin until they run everybody stops and get everybody knocked out of their position. So um, we've got a marginal break of that this morning. I suspect it's probably going to take more than just a marginal break. They'll probably um, probably close this below this to either today or tomorrow or something. Uh, maybe they have to come back down here to, to this support at 1880 uh, before we get our final daily cycle low. But they've, they've neg negated this, uh, even though this was the natural daily cycle low, they've negated this as the... Uh, the daily cycle low and the cycle is now stretching and uh, the reason being of course as i said they they didn't allow the market to rally enough to turn the 10-day moving average back up so that kind of uh, takes this off the table as the daily cycle low and and now we're moving down trying to find that daily cycle low and, and uh, you know the, again the same thing that happened in the stock market is going to happen here uh, gold bugs and people that are trying to trade this erratic manipulated market are going to going to panic uh, they, they won't listen to me. Uh, they'll, you know, lose their uh, long positions. Or if they're on the sidelines waiting, you know, if they listen to me about the attack that was coming and they're waiting, they won't be able to pull the trigger and they'll, they'll miss the rally just like most everybody's missing the rally in stocks. Um, but um, somewhere in here, because we're about, f I believe, 41 days into this daily cycle, we're, we're due for a daily cycle low and, and that daily cycle low has to rally enough to uh, turn this um, 10 day moving average back up. So we've, we've got a, a much more significant rally ahead of us here. And I, I think the, what it's going to entail is uh, the dollar uh, is uh, probably uh, going to move down into an intermediate cycle low. And so the cartel is not going to be able to to hold gold down for too too very long with the dollar starting to uh, crash, so they'll they'll be able to take it down temporarily. But we're going to get that daily cycle low, and then the when the dollar really starts to accelerate to the to the downside into an intermediate degree bottom, and it it will need to or it should break this pivot here. This uh, I guess this is the last daily cycle low. This is a daily cycle low. Um, maybe you could make a case that this was a daily cycle low. Now we've got a cycle that's left translating. That might be a, a more rational um, uh, analysis. Uh, and so at some point this has to break. This cycle has to left translate. And then we move down from um, four or five weeks at least into an intermediate uh, cycle decline. And uh, I don't think the cartel will be able to hold gold down uh, for very long during a, a dollar crash. So they're probably going to be able to do it here for a day or two. But uh, once it becomes apparent that the dollar is is starting to crash down into an intermediate cycle low, uh, their hold on uh, the suppression of gold is going to break. And then I think gold's going to come back up and, and break that those all-time highs at 2100. So this this move, uh, even though it's uh, you know caused by cartel suppression, should be temporary. We should find our uh, our final daily cycle low here pretty soon because we're really late in this um, daily cycle. Uh, 
and then uh, we should get another move back up to test and I think probably break out above this high and maybe get a, a pretty nice uh, move maybe to uh, even as much as 2500 or or you know a, a long shot target maybe even 3000 before uh, gold tops and we uh, start moving down into the eight-year cycle low in gold along with the three-year cycle low in the commodity complex.